right so once you fulfilled your data variable with all the data you have to send the data back return data so that means you are sending all your data with the values to whatever test it needed so once you are returning this data variable once you fulfill the data um it's an error here because the return type we are saying void but we are returning the return type as an object right move your cursor here and say change method return type to object that's all error is gone okay now we need to catch this data into our test cases let's see that um time out enable okay, let me remove this for a second i don't want to confuse you okay so at the rate you can actually say like this so you you need to call this data provider right so simply data provider so you are saying you are test that go and catch the data provider which have a name called get data and put it in double quotes that's all okay you can simply integrate your data provider with your test by providing that data provider name by passing it here so once your test case started executing it will read this and understands that hey there is a data provider with a get data go and get the whole data as a variable and run it in your test okay so once whole data is passed here it will run three times that's what we thought right for each and every time totally how many values it is passing for each and every execution it's running three times right for each run it's passing two values okay you see it here for each run it's passing two values that means it's passing two strings you need to give that information right to catch so when you dealed with parameters in our previous lectures if you get it here ultimately to make this work inside this you need to catch it here by defining one thing similarly if you know that there are two values coming for each run and to get and to get catch here you have to define two strings anything string username and string password so if you say like this two values will be injected and they will be catched first one this will be catched into this username and this will be catched into your password okay let me put first password all right so once they are catched here you can simply print it in your output system dot out print ln uh, you can write this username and the same thing you can actually define password okay now if i run this test i will run directly from here um so this test will get executed three times so i clearly told that when this when it looks for data provider first of all it looks like how many times i have to run this whole block um uh, whole method so by seeing this it will get a knowledge that i have to run three times and for each and every run it will take the set like this so for first run these two will be printed in your output for second run these two and for third run these two so that means for every test we are passing a fresh and unique data and let's see that let me run run as test ng test hoops there is an error good it's good that we have an error okay so web login car loan where is it web login car loan but has optional or defined is required on method where is it web login car loan it depends on the method right web login okay so here oh i got it so as we are already dealing this with test ng xml did you get this yes good that we got this error so i can tell you one more new concept so i ran this test in juvi jelly but in this test there are some dependencies from xml file isn't it this is like dependency from our xml file and when you run this test without knowing the knowledge of your xml file obviously you will not have knowledge on this url and api key also because these are here 
okay you have defined these values completely here but without using that you are simply running this so it does not know where exactly the values are as you are not running from test ng and it failed here itself okay that's not related to this uh, data provider good so let's from let's run this from test ng xml only because as we are having dependencies so when you run from here you will not get any errors okay and also i think um in this test ng we are actually seeing api key slash username but somehow when we are working we added one more zero which is a bad this could also be error okay so let me run this xml run as test ng suit good there are no errors but as i said i hope you will not get panic when you see error like this okay by just reading that we are able to fix it good so let's go back to our console and i'll show you how um, okay see it here first set username password second set username password third set username password so that means same test executed thrice okay so this is how you achieve parameterization in test ng and this is one of the famous famous interview question how do you achieve parameterization okay you can do it in two ways you can drive the data from test ng xml file and you can also drive the data and you can parameterize it using data provider annotation so you can do that in two ways using test ng and we have clearly seen the two ways of dealing this parameterization if you are still not clear with this please watch my core java sections there whenever i am talking about multi dimensional array concept i have clearly explained it there okay so if you are little confused but there is no quick confusion like that so to put an simple rule how many times you need to run with different sets define that many rows for each running how many values you are passing define that many columns and just initialize it once you initialize uh, you are storing in data right send this data and make sure it is catching in the test whatever you want and for each run if you pass two values make sure you pass this two values as an arguments and catch it that's all and also remember that if there is any dependency from your xml file please run it fr from xml file level only okay if you run it from individual file level it may not identify and as there are dependencies from xml so in real time you will not run like individually you have to trigger from test ng xml file only okay you will write like 100 tests like this you will not just invoke step by step you should run from your xml file only all right so that's pretty much about parameterization i hope you are very clear on how to deal with this test ng okay so when we are working on real framework well, let's make sure that we pass a real data and we pass that into our automation code and make sure we do that okay thank you